Hey, Shazam 15 here. If you can't tell by what Ahmed likes to refer to as the holiday hat, this week's review is Arthur Christmas. Now, technically I am wearing this hat about... What's the day today? Three days... No, four days too early for me. But it's closer now than it was when I watched the film. Anyway, Arthur Christmas. Lovely film. It's a bit like um, Fred Claus for Brits and kids. It's a kid-friendly version. Anyway, it's a decent film. Nice plot. Nice, lots of lots, lots of little twists. And you know, the only real stuff I've got to pick apart is the whole. Um, there's certain facts they state which aren't quite right. Okay. The fact one that is really something that gets me is the fact that it states in the film that they serve two billion children in the world. Now, there are problems with this. Why? Because two billion children in the world don't get Father Christmas presents. Do you know why? Because you have to break down who's actually eligible to receive the presents and who's not. We start with eliminating those who are Muslim and therefore don't practice Christmas, those who are Jewish and don't practice Christmas, well, they practice Hanukkah instead, um, most Hindu, some Hindus don't practice Christmas, in fact, I think most of them don't, Buddhists, same thing, Confucius, Shintoists, shamans, shamanists, yeah, the list goes on, Pagan, some pagans, yeah, it goes that way, eventually. Basically, the list goes down and down and down and down. So, we're faced mostly with Western living atheists and Christians. Now, the reason why not all Christians get it on that day is because of the same reason I mentioned earlier as to why this is early for me to wear the hat. Basically, there is a tradition in a lot of European countries called St. Nicholas Day. This is the Saint's Day of St. Nicholas, his feast day, which is the 6th of December. And just prior to that, the mythical constructs, the various mythical constructs of various versions of Father Christmas or variations of the name, for example, St. Nicholas, Santa Claus. Anyway. In my case, it was Santa Claus because I was born in... South Holland, so, and I grew up with Shell, so, you know, I sort of ran into these traditions as I was growing up, and I kind of adopted them, and after going to university, I kept them, because, well, I like them, and it also gives me a lovely way to tell when it's Christmas time, rather than waiting for the Coca-Cola advert to come on. Anyway, that's personal vlog rant over with. Right, back to the film. It's a nice film, the idea of passing the torch, lovely, the ending was sweet, the idea that the position of Father Christmas or Santa is inherited as it goes on is nice. And, you know, I like the idea that you've got several generations of Father Christmases in this one family, and they have real names, but they adopt the name of Nicholas or Santa Claus as part of the whole passing of the torch thing. Now, we're going to ignore the implicit, the implied slavery that goes on with that, because, well, we won't discuss the non-human labour because that's complicated and does spoil the magic of Christmas. Anyway, I quite like this film. There was some lovely showing of the world. They really tried to do this idea of how does how could this possibly work? How about if we make it a commando operation from a spaceship instead of a sleigh? It was quite a nice idea. and I like the fact that you also have the antique sleigh, which was thought destroyed, but the old grandfathers kept it around, hidden with the stables for the reindeer, and he actually flies them, and it's 
lovely, and the idea that they get lost is amusing. The whole fact that it turns into UFO crisis and all that is just brilliant. And I just love it. Arthur's a sincere character. Various positions. It's just a beautiful cast. The plot line's lovely and sweet and perfect for the holidays. It's a family film that works. I like it as a family film. Anyway, it's decidedly British at times, but that's more to do with the cast and who made it, and it's quite good for that. Anyway, basically, all in all, brilliant family film, it's nice, it's well worth a watch, and it should become a seasonal favourite as time goes on. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it, and in four days' time, I will say Merry Christmas. Anyway, DTFM.